Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is InfoSec related pardons. Now, today's story isn't really practical. There's really nothing you can learn from it or do in your own network, but it's just an interesting information security related story. In one of his last acts, Obama actually released a list of people he is going to either pardon or commute the sentence of. And this list had 273 different names on it. And the two interesting InfoSec names were Chelsea Manning and General James Cartwright. Now let's start with Chelsea Manning. If you haven't heard this name before, she was actually the military private that leaked a lot of military documents to WikiLeaks. Uh, if you aren't aware of some of her changes, she actually was previously known as Bradley Manning and was a private in the Army's intelligence systems. Anyways, she released 700,000 documents to WikiLeaks that had all kinds of uh, sensitive information, including videos of drone strikes and things like that. In any case, she is supposed to serve 35 years in prison, uh, of which I think she served around seven years, but President Obama commuted her sentence and now she's going to be getting out relatively shortly. The second name, General James Cartwright, is the U.S. military general that was accused of leaking information to the press tying the U.S. to Stuxnet. And of course, you know Stuxnet is the malware that targeted Iranian nuclear centrifuges and damaged them, and it really is believed to be something created by the U.S. On top of that, personally, I believe it's actually the malware that really opened the Pandora's box as far as cyber warfare is concerned. And we certainly see a lot of nation state based cyber attacks today, which is quite interesting. Anyways, Obama actually pardoned General James Cartwright as well. Now, I personally don't have a strong opinion whether or not these commuted sentences and pardons are good. I will say that Chelsea Manning's case is often compared to Edward Snowden. Both of these individuals leaked a lot of sensitive documents to outside organizations and ultimately the press. Now, I kind of compared Chelsea Manning's case a little differently than Snowden. Manning actually didn't really vet all the documents she gave to WikiLeaks. She gave a ton of documents and she didn't know all their contents, which is kind of bad. So she really had no idea if she is leaking very dangerous information to people that might be working in the military. On the flip side, if you believe Snowden's story, while his documents are probably even more sensitive because they come from one of our biggest intelligence agencies, he does claim that he at least tried to vet these documents. He only released a bit at a time. He wanted to release them with context, and he didn't want to release anything that actually put agents at risk. Now, whether you believe that's true or not of Snowden, I do think there is a difference in how both of these different, you know, government-based leakers actually leak documents. In any case, Chelsea Manning is now getting out of jail early, and Cartwright has been pardoned. And by the way, there's no news about Snowden. He is still a, a traitor that the U.S. is going after. Anyways, just an interesting story. It's fascinating to see how information security is really making prime time lately. That's it for today's news. Thank you for watching.